So when you look at that, are you are you experiencing PTSD? Um, you know, from what you went through to get you did that. You actually did that. I, in in a way, yes. But there were many others who worked on it. But the basic idea, how to move an object as heavy as that, comes from me, with these turnstiles and winches and and things. Um, it's very strange because only a few years ago I discovered in the archives of the Vatican, because I was interested in uh, obelisks, how the obelisk in St. Peter's Square was erected. And I find all of a sudden in 1560 the same system with turnstiles, many more than that, and uh, pushed around by horses. And I, I was really, it really angered me because I had the feeling they stole the idea from me. <laughs> So, so you, um, the, what you went through on this movie uh, was so dramatic that, that Les Blank actually made a documentary about it, Burden of Dreams. How did it feel to have that documentary made about it? Well, Les really wanted to, to come there, and the, pro the problem is that uh, he was there only for very short two periods of time, uh, 10 days and then another 15 or 20 days. And he captured only a very small portion of what was going on. The film is very good, actually. It's very much a film on its own. And uh, I kind of miss Les Blank. He was such a wonderful filmmaker and a friend. However, the film has done a lot of damage to me because in one uh, moment on camera, I'm saying to the camera, <clears throat> I should rather stop what I'm doing. And then I say, a, a, a toxic sentence, even people lost their lives. And then he cuts. And with the next breath, I'm explaining that we had our field hospital and an old woman uh, out of 1,400 cases that we treated for free. An old woman died uh, from anemia. And in the second next breath, I'm saying that uh, two young men <clears throat> stole one of our dugout canoes capsized and one of them drowned. We couldn't find him. So, <clears throat> and for a whole decade, for a whole decade, I was a man who, for the sake of a, of a film and nothing else, jeopardizes the lives of, of people and pushes them over the brink. So that, that was a major, major mistake. And I told Les when he showed me the film, shouldn't you in, include this? Oh no, everybody will understand and so on. And I, I didn't interfere because I, I had the feeling he, he knows his audience and he knows what he's doing. And as a consequence, I mean, this kind of dark shadow is still somehow very distantly lingering upon me which I have to accept it is as it is, it's perception that that counts and not what actually happened. It's always perception. And um, what can I say? Uh, I even had to face a, a, a public tribunal in Germany, things like that. So it's... Because of that film? Yes. But so uh, I thought you... to myself, and, and there, were, there were crazy accusations that I had committed um, human rights abuses against native people. And I said, who named the names? And I even forced Amnesty International, go there, in inquire. They looked into it and there was nothing about it. And they reported, but the press wouldn't report it then, which came five months five months later, it is how the media are functioning. No, no, definitely. Uh, the myth has become bigger uh, than, than the reality.